Welcome to another video. One thing I have to say, I feel super motivated to record more and more tutorials for you on this channel. And in this video, we're going to talk how to create sort of matte washed out effect in Photoshop. Something I would consider popular. Sorry for this sound, just something dropped. Um, so where I see often this matte effect is um, first uh, child images, a very common effect when the child is in the forest. This effect is commonly used. Um, other sort of images, the image uh, you have right now where we have a lot of green colors because somehow it makes the green colors look really nice when they are sort of washed out this woody effect. So just let's have a look at the image before. Sharp, contrasted, already processed image. And this is what I did. So like how to add this washed out effect to the image, how to make it mad. I'm going to show you how to do this in few simple steps. So first of all, I'm just going to remove this group. And there is two ways you can add this effect. The first way is by creating empty layer. Let's gonna call this gray. So you have your answer right now, and we have to fill this layer with the gray color. So let's uh, go to edit, fill, and our layer is going to be filled with pure gray color, which is 50% gray, just on the way between white and black color, just on the middle. After we do this, we need to change blending mode to luminosity. So what happened now, um, I need to hold my thoughts to think how to describe what uh, just happened. So luminosity affects only the lights of the image. Um, as we can see, it actually um, changing the, the colors over here, um, but it sort of cuts out all the areas that were white and all the areas that were black and hold only the areas that are in the range of the gray color. I believe um, that's what is happening uh, right now. The was not given really deep thoughts to it. I'm just going with my natural feeling as I'm spending a lot of time with Photoshop. Uh, so what I did now, we don't want this really strong effect. So we need to lower the opacity down to 20%. And this is the first way how we add in this washed out effect. Before I process to add in more things to it, I want to show you the other technique. We don't really have to uh, use the gray layer. The other technique is using levels. So in the levels, we have uh, two sliders. So it's very similar thing to what just happened to the gray, uh, gray layer because we have one dark slider, uh, which is at the point of the darkest point. So whole image, the range from the darkest point from pure dark to the pure white is visible on the image. If we move the di dark slider, you simply cutting out uh, the dark area. So if I go to this level, um, the darkest point on the image will be this gray color. If I'm gonna cut out the white, as you can see, it's also um, going to very different area. And if I would change this to luminosity, uh, that would give me very similar effect right now. Uh, so it's even giving you maybe more uh, control. Let me start with normal. So like, as you can see, very, similar thing. Uh, let's say I will count this effect at output level um, 15 and output levels 15 and 240. So I did not really go that far, maybe even 20 and 235. Let's add a little bit stronger effect. And then I'm going to change it to luminosity. As you can see, this is also a similar effect. So we're just uh, washing out um, the image. Uh, I was trying to hunt for very similar, so you can see the strength, uh, I would say, is nearly equal between these two. Of course, by going further, the effect will be stronger. Uh, so you don't have to cut out, what, what the control that levels give you, you don't have to really cut out uh, highlights that much, because maybe sometimes you want to keep uh, more highlights. So I'm going to call this 
wash out. And I'll be using this layer, as I said, it doesn't really matter. I probably even prefer the gray layer, it's quicker. Uh, but let's go uh, with this way. So we did the first step. Um, we washed out the image and there is one thing uh, that is missing. Like, as we're doing this, we simply cutting out the, the shadows. Uh, what we don't want to do, we don't want to lose that much of the shadows from her cheekbone, for example, from the shadow here. So what I would do, I would create the curve adjustment layer. I will call this cheekbone. Also, I will uh, change uh, blending mode to luminosity to not affect uh, the color. I'm gonna darken this a little bit. And I'm going to invert the layer mask. To invert the layer mask, you need to press Command or Control and I. And you turn layer mask into black. Black means uh, the effect on this layer is invisible, the white means it's visible. So I'm gonna paint now with the white colored brush, soft flow on this cheekbone. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to recover the shadows that is here. Did it work? It did indeed work. Um, it's really strong, I think I went too far. So I'm just gonna lower, lower opacity. Let's have a look. I think it works now. And this is, we could say, um, final product. I like to add a little bit more things to the effect. So um, I like to work a little bit more with color. I think this image is a little uh, too saturated. So what I like to do at the very end, I would use hue saturation. I would just use uh, color here because I just want to affect the color and I will lower the saturation value to 10 uh, because this image sort of got uh, unnaturally uh, saturated. So I would call this desaturate. And also just below the washout layer, I would add some other color. I will use solid color. Let's just, uh, let's add this. I would go with some warm color, maybe orangey. Let's uh, add orange color first. I'm gonna name this layer color. And let's set opacity maybe 5%. So this is pretty strong at the moment, but what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open this color and go more with um, grayish orange color. So this image will be a little warmer. In this case, as you can see, I think it works really great. I'm not changing blending mode uh, in purpose to keep this washed out, even add a little bit more. So let's put this put this all to the group. I'm gonna select one layer, press shift, the all layers, then command or control G, and I call it wash out. This is image before, and this is after uh, what I would call um, effect of sort of washed out image if you'd like to do something like this in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.